Hello everyone, my name is AppleGuy, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Pokemon Fire Red. In the previous video, we beat the gym up there in Fuchsia City, and in today's episode, with our newfound ability to surf on water, we're going to be heading south onto Route 19, and we'll be uh, making our way towards the next gym. We have to do a lot of surfing on waterbound routes, which means this is a spectacular time to level up Vidalia. Vidalia is in need of some massive leveling up, and even though he's not going to be useful for the next gym, uh, we got to get some some leveling up in. So we're going to go ahead and take care of that right now, for sure. I think after this uh, this battle right here, what I'll probably do is give the PP up to Giga Drain, and then also use a TM I have from the previous episode on Rex. Now Rex is a poison type, has zero poison type moves. The move that Rex has, um, or is going to have, is called Toxic. It is the, maybe one of the best poison type moves ever, and I would definitely say, I mean, at least to my knowledge, is the best poison type move in this game. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and teach him that for sure. We got that from the gym. Each gym leader gives out a TM for defeating them, and that's the one that, uh, we were lucky enough to receive from, from Koga, the, the Poison Ninja Master, whatever he called himself. And then, uh, yeah, I so said we're gonna use the PP up on Giga Drain because it's it's a very low PP move, but it is a great move. I mean, it can one shot most uh, most enemies here, and that's really what we need. So we're gonna go ahead and teach that really quickly as well. We're already at level 35 with Vidalia. Like I said, a lot of water type Pokemon when you surf, just a whole ton. So we will be taking care of uh, leveling up Vidalia through that. Let's go into our bag though. Here's the PP up. We're gonna use it on Vidalia's Giga Drain, and. It increased, I think, probably to 7, but we'll have to see for sure. Let's go to the TM's case now. Uh, Water Pulse, Calm Mind, Roar, Toxic. There we go. We're going to go ahead and teach... Everyone can learn Toxic, but we're going to give it to Rex, because Rex doesn't have a Poison-type move. And I think we're going to teach it over... Ooh, this is a tough one, actually. Because all these moves are really, really good. I'm inclined to do it over Horn Attack. I really like Double Kick. But Horn Attack is really powerful. Maybe... We'll, we'll teach it over Double Kick. And I'm teaching it over Double Kick because we always have the option if we're like, oh, Rex really needs a fighting type move. We can go back to Cerulean City, or the area outside of Cerulean City, and pick up uh, um, Mega Kick or Mega Punch, whatever we choose. Uh, is there anything else we want to teach? Uh, Psychic, no. Brick Break, no. We also have Brick Break, so we can teach that. Double Team, Reflect, Rock Tomb... Torment, Rest, Attract, Thief, Steel Wing. Steel Wing could be good for uh, Triforce. Let's see what we teach instead of that, though. This would just do some more covery sort of things. We could, yeah, Pursuit maybe, but I don't, I don't think so. Yeah, let's go ahead and give up on Steel Wing. And then let's go ahead and check uh, if there's any other ones. Snatch, yeah, I think we're good for now. Uh, so we're gonna continue to press forward and face the next trainer. Wait, slow down. You'll have a heart attack. What? That's a that's a bit out of the blue, ain't it there, Pokemon? Swimmer Reese wants to battle. Sends out a Goldeen. Let's see. How many power points does this move have now? It has six, so it increased by one. We did a... That was worth it, guys. That was actually really bad. <laughs> I don't know if they changed the way uh, PP-ups work in the later games, but I know... I think I've used PP-up in Generation 4. I've used it on... Uh, on Thunderbolt, and I've gone from 15 to 18, and sometimes even to 21. So, uh, you know, there's the, that's a big upgrade. A lot more than a single one. And uh, there's a certain max level you can hit for power points. There's an item actually called the PP Max, and uh, that sets the power points to the max level. So you can't infinitely get, like, just your strongest moves to have the highest power to where it's, like, used 700 times, you know? There's, there's a ceiling on there that you can't, uh, you can't breach. Uh, thankfully though, we were able to defeat both these trainers and we're still on the main uh, island here. So we can uh, just go ahead and run up. Ooh, that's chilly. We can run up to the Pokemon Center, take a quick heal, and then we can, um, you know, progress further. We haven't even hit the body of water yet. All right, we're ready to continue forth now. Thankfully we can just hop down these ledges. Sea Route, Route 15, Fusion City to the Seafoam Islands. That is our next location. Now, there is no gym on the Seafoam Islands, but it is where we need to go next. Uh, I tried diving for Pokemon, but it was a no-go. 
I think the trainer up there legitimately just bypassed us. Like, they looked away and we swam right by him. Uh, but yeah, this is a waterbound route. We're going to be on Surf, which is the item, or the item, the Pokemon you see me riding, the little blob. That's Surf. It's really good. It allows you to travel through water. And I tried to show it off, I think, two episodes ago, but I didn't have the ability to use it in the field, which is why it wasn't working. Um, but if you want to find water type Pokemon and you don't feel like fishing, this is a way to do it. There's going to be a whole set of Pokemon you can encounter out here uh, on the waves that is completely different from the Pokemon you would encounter on land because, of course, these are water Pokemon. There is a lot of overlap with fishing, though. For example, we're definitely going to see, uh, you know, some, some Goldeens if we were to surf in, like, a lake. Uh, I think here we'll mostly see, like, Tentacools. Uh, that sort of thing. I do plan on using a Repel though, so that we don't have to get bothered by these uh, repetitive uh, encounters. I don't need to level up my Pokemon too much because we do have um, we do have access to all these trainer battles, and, and we'll we'll be fine from that. Speaking of leveling up, Vidalia reaches level 36, so already making the climb towards level 40. There goes Swimmer David. Help! You're not supposed to say help in the water if you don't need help. This is a Pokemon. Okay, I didn't even use it, but see, there's a tentacle. So if you want to catch a tentacle, uh, here's where to do it. I, of course, do not need a tentacle because I have Crush, the Pokemon I'm currently surfing on. This is a really nice theme. Uh, let's see, do we have... Uh, re no, not Revives, Repel, Super Repel, there we go. This is a very nice theme, I really like this. I look at the sea to forget all the bad things that happened. Man, the ocean does that. The ocean can do that, you know? I've never done it myself, but I imagine one day I'll find myself crying at the beach. <laughs> oh lord. Could you imagine? I mean, I'm sure people have done it before. Well, of course people have done it before. It's been just thousands and thousands of years of human history. I guarantee you someone has cried on a beach. Uh, it's just a funny thought, you know? The ocean is massive. The ocean is a huge entity. It is a large body of water. Connects the entire planet. It's bizarre, it's bizarre that, I mean, you know, you dip your toes in the ocean, and someone in, like, I don't know, the UK dips their toes in the ocean, and someone in Australia dips their toes, and someone in, like, Japan, and then everyone's just touching the same water. It might be, like, hundreds of, hundreds of miles away. <laughs> Maybe even thousands of miles away, but, you know, everyone's touching the same water. It's weird. It's also that, yeah, anyway. This, this ocean here in, uh, in Kanto doesn't have, like, a name. It's just, like, the ocean. Uh, so it's not like we're, we're sailing the Kanto Sea or something. But we can call it that if we want to, you know? Let's see. Oh, I love how the... the um, oh, if only the sign has moved over. I was going to say, I love how you can just run straight from the Pokemon Center down back to the ocean. But no, there is a slight blockade. Hello! I love swimming! What about you? That's a very good question. Uh, me personally... I would say I am someone who enjoys a swim, Swimmer Matthew. That's funny, actually. I did know someone in high school who swam that was named Matthew, so <laughs> that's pretty funny. Uh, but yeah, I think I, I enjoy swimming. I don't do it a lot, um, but it's something I would say I do enjoy. Obviously, I like big swimming pools. In high school, we, uh, we did swimming for PE, and uh, we had like the side swimming pool, which is like you know, the, the racing one that everyone used for, like, if you're on the swim team. And then there was also a pool that was just, like, a giant hole. It was, like, 16 feet by 16 feet, and it, maybe not 16 by 16, however large it was. It was deep, though. That's what was cool about it. It was so... It was just the deepest pool ever. And what I would like to do at the end, like, the last 15 minutes of, of the class, you would get to just do whatever you wanted. I would always go to that swimming pool, and then just sink to the bottom and just see, like, just feel like the, the pressure of the water and stuff. I don't know. I liked it. Um, so deep swimming pools are cool. I've never had, like, the time to go to, like, an Olympic swimming pool or anything purely because I'm not an Olympian, nor do I think I'll ever be one unless there's, like, Olympic Pokemon. I wouldn't even do that good in that anyway. All right. And there goes Summer Matthew. Belly flop. I belly flopped before. It is a big ouch. I do not recommend it to anyone who is considering belly flopping. It is not at all what they, they make it look like in the movies. Vidalia was asleep, and I woke him up. Uh, okay, we're gonna continue. There should be- Yikes, that's a lot of people! Holy lord. Okay, there's someone over here. You're a trainer. What's beyond the horizon? 
All right, so if we head south, there's like a whole platoon of trainers down here. I actually think these are trainers. I swim with my friends. I'm tired. They are trainers. That trainer was female swimmer Connie, and she had a flight of Staryu. A flight is like restaurant talk for three, by the way. That guy who I just fought had tentacle, tentacle, tentacruel, horsey, and Staryu. Ooh, I just love your ride. Can I have it if I win? This trainer, this, this woman, this swimmer female Anya has the audacity to say, Hey, I like the blast hoist you're, you're riding, you're surfing on. Can I have it? Uh-uh. No. No, you cannot. This is blast hoist. This is Crush. You haven't heard the legend of Crush? Yeah. Anyway, a flight is three in restaurant talk. Now, I don't know why a flight is three, but uh, it is. Speaking of, you know, food numbers, how come a dozen is 12 to everyone but bakers? What gave them the right? If you go to a, like a, I don't know, we go to a bagel store, and you're like, can I have a dozen bagels? They give you 13 bagels. <laughs> why? Why? Is anyone here a baker? Anyone here? Hey, anyone here from Minnesota? No, but is anyone a baker that watches my videos? And if yes, why is uh, 13 a dozen? Well, it's 12 for eggs. You don't, you don't get 13 eggs. You go and buy a dozen eggs. There's a carton of eggs, but you know, whatever. Hey, Vidalia is confused. I'm going to switch Vidalia out because confusion is a minor pain to deal with. Very small pain, but a pain indeed. Um, all right. Vidalia is definitely on its way to uh, getting level 40, by the way. And if it weren't for the fact that uh, um, Giga Drain, the main attacking move that Vidalia uses, only has six power points, we would have been there already. For sure. For sure. But because I switch out, you know, it, it does give Jupiter the chance to level up as well, which Jupiter did just level up to level 37. And uh, we have one more, oh, two more Pokemon. We have a Seeking and something else. There is one trainer I'm skipping, um, and then there's two a little further up. I'm, I'm going to come back to those. I think we're already kind of close to the next island, like the, the midway island between the main region of Kanto and like the next spot. Uh, so we will maybe pit stop there. And, uh, you know, we can always come back and battle the rest of these people later. They don't have very interesting Pokemon. At this point, we've kind of seen all the water Pokemon we're going to see. Uh, so I can totally skip them. I just think it's more fun for you guys to be able to watch the videos, all the content, and uh, not have me skipping a bunch. Oh, I lost. You weren't going to get the Blastoise anyway. Yeah, there's two people to the north, though. Okay, here we are on Route 20. All right. Repel's effect wore off. There's a ton of trainers here. I guess... Wait, I have more potions, don't I? Or, uh, repel? I do have more repels, yeah. I'm kind of just curious how close we are, I think. So, if I just skim along the bottom... You have insane vision! Seafoam was a quiet getaway! I'm vacationing here! That was a girl. What insane vision you have, Miss Shirley! Here's a Seedra. That actually, I think, is new. Seedra... What is it? It's Horsey, Seedra... What comes after Seedra? What comes after Seedra? The... Wait. Kingler, I think. Kingler is next. Kingler... I think. I actually have no clue. I think it's Kingler. I'm blanking so hard. Holy, holy buckets. Whatever. Uh, Seedra's evolved from Porsy. You can tell because they're both seahorses. Would you mind enlightening me by sending out a Kingler? No, you're gonna use a horsey. Well... Hold on, we've got C we got Horsey, we got Seedra. Can we have Kingler as well? Do you want to complete the set? It'd be helpful for the Pokedex. Oh, Twister. I think that's a dragon type move. Right? Yeah. I think Kingler is the next one up, right? Maybe I'm maybe I'm wrong. Nope, you're gonna use another Seedra. I'm gonna switch to uh Jupiter to get this over with faster. Jupiter is right next to getting a hundred uh, uh, HP and that's gonna be a great day when that happens because then Jupiter will have some HP to take a hit although Pokemon doing 100 damage in a single one is uh, still pretty common these days so I don't know how uh, you know effective Jupiter will become Jupiter is a lot more effective in battle now that uh, she's evolved I'll give Jupiter that okay yes yeah, see here we are this is 
Voila, the Seafoam Island. It is right here. Seafoam Island, we've made it. It is literally nothing, by the way. There's some caves, and inside the caves are um, some, like, some, some things we'll touch on later. You can't fly to the Seafoam Islands, I don't think. Also, I don't know if I've technically registered it. Hold on, wait. Let me just double check and make sure, like, the game is happy. Like, yeah, I've seen the Seafoam Islands game. Oh, maybe you need to pass through. Do you need to pass through? I think you do. Yikes. Okay, hold on. We're not doing this right now, obviously. But, yeah, that, that's the Seafoam Island. Let's go back and... Should we battle more people? I think we should save some battles for the next episode because um let's heal first let's heal all right we're all healed up let's get back into the ocean now i don't want to end the episode where we started the episode uh but there are more pokemon we need to battle here and then we also have to do like a little bit of exploration of the seafoam islands if i am to be correct i battled you already didn't i i did yeah i'll see a i see a couple of islands over yonder that's true now, I'm pretty sure he's referring to the Seafoam Islands, but spoiler, there's more islands than just those two. So there's that person to battle, and then you, right? Swimming's great. Sunburns aren't. Agree to that. I'll agree to that. Let's uh, fight this trainer. Let's fight the other one um, up top, and then we will, like, the, the two-pack, and then we're going to enter Route 20, and we will save Route 20 and uh, Seafoam Islands for next episode. And from there, we can continue on our progress. This should be a pretty quick battle, this one and actually the next one. I just have to remember to set up my team correctly. Also, talk slower. That was a, a lot of words in a short amount of time. All right, a Seeking, perfect. Yeah, two easy little hits right there. And uh, this is what I mean by, you know, we've kind of seen the, the Pokemon. <laughs> we might see some evolved forms later on. We might see a Star Me instead of a Star You. Uh, but we've seen that with uh, with Misty. I almost said Cynthia. I don't know why. Cynthia is in Pokemon Platinum, not in Pokemon Fire Red. Although, I have played Pokemon Platinum on the YouTube channel before. You can check the playlist section to uh, to check out that full series. I think it was like 84 episodes or something. Longest series on the channel to date, as far as Nintendo games go. Minecraft is longer. All right, so let's switch Triforce and uh, Jupiter. So when we face this double battle right here, we can have them both at once. My big sis taught me how to train and swim Pokemon. Strike that reverse it, swim and train Pokemon. All right, this is sis and bro, Leah and Luke. Send out Goldeen and Seeking. All right. And uh, gosh, they're both the same. Oh, no. Okay. Giga Drain, Thunderbolt. I should one shot them both. I should. Will I? I'm not quite sure if I will, but I should. And then, of course, we will uh, end off the episode right there. Hey, there goes Vidalia to level 39, almost to level 40 already. And Jupiter does not level up yet, but off of this Seeking, I think we might see a level up from Jupiter. If not, I mean the very next fight. Jupiter is right on the cusp. All right, let's see. Seeking is going to use Flail to hit Jupiter, which does a lot. And there goes that. All right, so we're gonna do Sleep Powder. And most importantly, we're gonna use Quick Attack because Quick Attack's gonna be enough. Sleep Powder was just a meme. Hey, there we go. Nope, not a level up for Jupiter. Oh, wow, someone tougher than my big sis. Hey, Pokemon is Pokemon. And that brings us definitively to Route 20 where we'll pick up this uh, next time. Oh, oh gosh, I thought the guy was gonna see me. Anyway, that's going to be all for now, so I want to thank you all so, so much for watching. If you have enjoyed, please like and subscribe, and tell your friends about the series if you think they would enjoy it. It means a lot to me when you guys turn my videos around. I'll catch y'all back here next time for the next episode of Let's Play Pokemon Fire Red. Until then, as always, take care.